Welcome to another cool smartphone video with me, Gary. Today you're going to see a lot more of me on camera as we're going to be setting up the brand new LifeX Beam from LifeX. Now, the more astute of you may have already realised that there is a beam-like structure on the wall. This is actually the LifeX Beam setup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly uh, remove a couple of the units just so you can see how it all goes together and then we'll talk through how to use it as well. Okay, cool. So these are the elements that actually contribute to the LifeX beam. So firstly, you've got the actual lights themselves. Now on the end of these, you will see that we have got some pogo pin connectors on both ends, and these are also magnetized as well. This is your power supply, which actually comes out from your LifeX controller box. And this is where you have your Wi-Fi module that will receive and emit signals onto your Wi-Fi network. As this was a sample, I do have an American style plug, although they are now being sold in the UK, so UK plugs will also be available. So the actual connection is a magnetized connection and it goes together simply like that. On the back of the actual beam you will notice that there is um, velcro attachment points and these are mounted onto command strips. Uh, the strip sort of things you would get for hanging pictures on uh, the wall when you don't want to put screws in. So they've, they've kind of thought of uh, how to make this as user friendly as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm now just going to pop this back up onto the wall, plug it in, and then uh, hopefully it will work and I can demonstrate how to use it. So as I've already mounted the strips to the wall, it is just a case of me sliding it in to where I want it, and then pushing into place. I'm then going to plug the socket into the wall. Now I, ha I am having to use an American to UK adapter, but you won't need to. Attach the power point on, flick the switch, and there you go. You can now see that we have got mains power going through to it. Now when it's first set up, the default color is this uh, white color that you just saw. It's now actually connected up to the Wi-Fi network and it's hooked into the previous mode that it was on. That mode was actually a music visu visualizer mode. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to fire up some music and let you see how this visualizer actually works. It is a really nice feature and I have to say it's one that my son actually really enjoys using. So bear with me a wee second, as I just need to get some music. So as you can see from that very quick demonstration, and even from my voice, it picks up the um, differences in tones, and it displays them in a light uh, pattern. There is various different modes that are available upon the LifeX app, including pulsating, uh, which is called animated, a movement mode, a Halloween or spooky mode, and then just uh, some tranquil calming modes. There is also lots of pre-configured uh, color variants, and I'll see if I can bring one of these up now. Um, so if we have a look at the app itself, let's go for that one, which I believe is called Intense. And uh, we'll go with a slightly more orangey one. Now all of these colors, uh, they can actually be adjusted in their vibrancy as well. So you can turn them up. So as you can see now, we're now displaying 100% color brightness. 
um, which can actually be quite bright on certain color tones. All of this can also be controlled by voice if you are able to hook this up to an Amazon Alexa, sorry, Amazon Echo, or um, if you're running a phone that supports Google Assistant and all its voice features. Unfortunately, um, the only device that I have that supports that is actually the phone I'm using to film this video, so I won't be able to demonstrate that for now. So that is a quick overview of the LifeX Beam. If you liked this video, then please um, subscribe to coolsmartphone.com. Uh, there will be a full review of the LifeX Beam, the LifeX A60 and the LifeX Day and Dusk bulbs on coolsmartphone.com. Uh, so I urge you to check that out. And um, while you're at it, if you can give us a few likes, then that would be really appreciated. And we'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much. Bye.